That's a little bitter. Hey guys, this is my review for Glass. This is a film that I had some kind of pretty big expectations for. Night Shyamalan obviously has had a very interesting career, starting off pretty well and then believing in his massive hype and his own giant ego and he brought himself down. Then he did The Visit, which I thought was a commendable film. He pointed out everything that he had done wrong. He pretty much was very self-aware of how ridiculous he had been. Yeah, the twist was a bit stupid, but I thought that the film was, you know, all right. And then he did Split, which was a pretty phenomenal movie. I remember being very impressed with the film and how it was shot, the pacing of the film. James McAvoy obviously is phenomenal in that film. He was robbed of at least a, a nomination. And overall, it was a pretty cool movie. And obviously the surprise at the end that it was tied into the Unbreakable Universe was something that not really anyone expected. At the end of the film, when the woman starts talking about the person who blew up those trains all those years ago, I remember yelling out in the theater, holy shit, before Bruce Willis even appeared. So obviously the hype for Glass was pretty big. And least to say, it ends the story, but it doesn't do it in a way that's going to satisfy people. Not a lot of people. First off, the one thing I want to say is this film is a structure mess. Now, it seems that Shyamalan either was rushed to put this out or thought that he had it down packed the first time. And you can tell this because in the first act of the film, everything is moving so quickly. There are so many cuts between different characters and little tidbits here and there. And they're trying to catch you all up with everything that's happened with David Dunn, what's happened with Glass, and what's happened with James McAvoy in this time. Because it's only been three weeks since the ending of Split. And then the film just comes to a crawl once they come to this asylum. Yes, there are some very good parts in it. Yes, it is a slow burn aspect, but it is a real slow burn. When you go from the pacing being very quick and very hard to try and keep up to a crawl, a literal crawl, it pulls you out of the film. Yeah, it's cool to see Glass kind of coming up with his schemes, to see David Dunn and James McAvoy kind of being in these rooms that are representations of their weaknesses, and to see the psychological aspect of Sarah Paulson's character, as well as either victims or relatives or close people to each one of the three main characters coming together and having their own connection with the story. It is cool. But it's just so slow. And then the final act of the film, that's when stuff really starts to ramp up. That's when it gets really interesting. And then it pretty much throws a bunch of salt on you. Of course, the ending of the film has a bunch of twists in it, which are normal of Shyamalan. However, I just feel that it's quite weak. Like, fucking weak. Especially with certain characters. Left me disappointed more so than anything else. The performances in this film are still pretty good. James McAvoy adds even more layers to his character and his arc is definitely one of the best arcs of the film. However, it takes up the majority of the film. What we were expecting at least was a unbreakable sequel as much as a split sequel, but Bruce Willis kind of starts to be a character and then he's pushed off to the side. His arc in this film is incredibly small, whereas Glass, even though he appears really actually as a character in the latter half, the third quarter of the film, he has more screen time and more development than Bruce Willis does, and he's in it at the very beginning of the movie. Again, structure is the biggest problem in this movie. The characters are well laid out, and they have a cool representation in this film. The relationship with those close to them, especially James McAvoy and the girl who survived him. Now, I know a lot of people thought that this was a really shoehorned in aspect, and I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a little bit of the hostage kind of caring for the captor sort of idea, but it's still an interesting aspect. And when that story comes to the end, you really, really are drawn into that part. So I guess my biggest problems with this movie are, again, structure and just the weakness of the ending. It's not a bad ending in theory. It's just so weak. And with certain conclusions. When the film ends, you're just left there going, really? That's what we've been waiting almost 20 years for? 
that is what Shyamalan supposedly thought of when he finished Unbreakable? He was just basically gonna piss this many people off? I'm a little bit disappointed with how it ends. I'm not exactly happy with how the film follows out. Thankfully, some things that do pass over from Split are the great cinematography, the music is really good, and the meta-ness of comic book heroes that was in the first film still carries over. It goes a little bit too much meta sometimes, but it's still a cool aspect and it really help build this mythos of this own world where superheroes could be real it just leaves a bitter aftertaste in the end i'm gonna give glass a three out of seven it's really unfortunate too because it's not often that you see people excited for a january movie and Shyamalan's reputation has once again been tarnished and he's well, I'll see. I'm interested to see how this goes. Whether people are going to take him back now. Like, he had two okay films, one being really good. Now we have to see what happens. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Doing a shout-out once again for Camp Death 3 in 2D. These guys let me watch this movie ahead of time. And it's a pretty bad but very enjoyable horror movie. It's purposely bad. It's one of those tongue-in-cheek sort of films. It was filmed up here in Canada, so we got to support our Canadian brother in film. The film comes out on February 16th on Amazon Prime, so make sure to check it out. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time.